Hey there guys, what's going on? Sorry, I'm just getting light and everything ready to go here. Make sure my screen is good. All right, so we're gonna be opening up something really cool. I'm gonna wait a little bit, see some people show up real quick. Uh, so far nobody's here, but you know, I know it's gonna go to Twitter, it's gonna announce these things, and if people are on YouTube right now, maybe they'll see it as well. Um, but you know, in case you're watching this after the fact, what we're gonna be opening up today Something really cool. Sorry about the lighting. Very dark outside. Using my phone. So it's a little different than my normal videos, of course. Uh, see if I can get this light better. Nope, too much. Too much light. Too much light is a thing. It's also a bit much, but hey, maybe you can see me a little bit better now. Um, so we're going to open up this bad boy right here. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So this is a Japanese cube that I had, uh, well, I didn't have made, but I bought off of eBay. This is just full of Japanese cards, some in really meh shape, some in really good shape. Um, got energy, first edition, flash fire Charizard. Random stuff too, and, oh, oh, what is that? Oh. Yes, we got a full art. <laughs> right off the bat, we have a full art in this cube. So I'm gonna open it up, and we're gonna go card for card for card. I'm sorry if I keep looking away. Um, it's on a phone, so you know I don't have like a little iris look at. I think that. Okay, that is the lens. Um, look at you like that. But I keep wanting to look here. I don't know why, but I'll look here. Hello. Um, so yeah, got a full art. Got a Charizard! Oh man. And I thought it'd be a cool idea to open this up live instead of uh, doing the normal video. I could take a really long time doing a video or I could do it live. Um, I still don't really have a setup for the live streams just yet. So you get my boring wall. You get this really bad light right here. There's, ugh, oh my goodness. What's up, Final Rage, my boy? What's going on, man? I haven't talked to you in a long time. Hope you guys are all right. How I think. I think I recall you saying, you can see my light, I think you recall telling me that everything was pretty okay after Irma, and I'm really happy to hear you're safe, dude. Um, welcome to the stream. What's up, Meg's Toys Reviews, what's going on? Lars TCG, is going on? Welcome to the stream. Uh, for those of you who just chimed in, Cube, Charizard, Charizard, first edition, yeah, I'm glad you finally made it to the stream vial. It's awesome. The Pokemon Switch. How exciting is that? It's a Switch in Japanese. Oh, also, full art Raichu GX. I haven't even opened this thing up yet, and this is the amazing stuff that we have. So, yeah. You'll take the Charizard? I'll take the Charizard, too. But maybe we can talk about it, you know? Maybe we can hook something up. Shall I crack it open? You guys ready for that? See, there's only a couple of you here, but, you know, hey, I think one is enough, so uh, you want me to... Open it up. I'll wait for the replies. Shield Charm, what's going on? How you doing? Yeah, ready? All right, I heard a yeah. So let's crack this open. A lot of cards to look through. I don't expect to get a lot of good stuff out of this. I've been lucky in the past of just getting hollow after hollow after awesome card um, because I bought a, a thing that's purely just hollow stuff. Um, this time it's just a bunch of everything. I'm doing good, thanks. Um, finally got some autumn weather here, so I'm really happy. Uh, we don't have any air conditioning in our house. It's been a little bit of a warm summer, so happy to finally get some cool temperatures around here. I like rainy days. I like a gust of wind or two. Nothing like they had in Florida, but I definitely like just a bit of wind. So, uh, yeah. I'm doing all right, doing all right. Going to regionals tomorrow. Gonna actually participate in the professor's seminar that they're doing. So I'm really excited for that. It's gonna be in Bremen, which is in Germany. And uh, yeah, I'm just going with some friends. I'm having troubles with this. So bear with me, please. I didn't bring my scissors. I thought, oh, that looks straightforward. I was wrong. <laughs> I could not have been more wrong about that. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a knife. Got the drawer right next to me. Knife, knife, where are you? You'll do. Bum, 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 bum. Knife. Come prepared for your live streams, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be the hollow hunter. Know what you're doing. 
Oh goodness, okay, how am I gonna do this? The cards are already wanting to fall apart. Okay, let's just kind of peel, into peeling it out. Um, I don't know how they've done the back to the cards, if they're all just through each other. Okay, wow, that uh, switch didn't really, switch didn't make it, guys, I'm afraid. It was a corner card, but look at that GX. That is in pretty good shape. Pretty happy with that. This is from Shining Legends. Pulled this one actually from my own Shining Legends boxes. Happy to see it again. I think, yeah, I think it's turning that way. So then I'm gonna turn it upside down. Yes, good, okay. They are facing one direction from what I can see. All right, so here we have that Charizard EX from the Japanese Flash Fire. I don't know what the set's called in Japanese. Unfortunately, I'm just getting into Japanese cards. Unfortunately, I do see some damage here in the back. I'll show you here in a second. It's first edition, but unfortunately, ugh, the corner got a little nicked. Bummer, but hey, it's a Charizard from Flashfire. That's awesome. This is an energy from a set. <laughs> uh, problem I'm going to have is that all of these are in Japanese, and I, there may be Pokemon, I don't know. <laughs> Not nice, exactly. Not entirely great, is it? Um, I don't entirely know all Pokemon, nor do I know these trainers and stuff. So let's just jump into it. We have, okay, I want to say this is an Exploud. Is that correct? Help educate me with the Pokemon that are past my generations. I know one, two, and seven, basically. Exploud, right? First edition here. Um, it says it's, what set is this from? It is from XY. Five, I think. Loudred, okay. Loudred, got that one. Thank you for correcting that one. Loudred, stage one. So this is kind of what I expect for the rest of the thing, but you never know. Oh, all of these, all these, I wanna say shallows? That's not shallows, is it? You like Gen 3? I don't know anything about Gen 3, I'll be honest. Three, four, and five, completely over my head. Six, a little bit, and seven, I know a lot better. Um, is that a Shellos? Or is this a Gastro... No, this is not Gastrodon, is it? Pretty good with the names. Good, okay, well then... Oh, Vile, you can help me out with this one. Help me out. Uh, look like something new. That is Shellos. Good, I was correct. Yay. Oh, hello. Oh, that's not in bad condition either. Oh, goodness, we have... A McDonald's promo Delta Species Latias. Mega from the looks of it. Look at that. Is that Mega Latios or Mega Latias? All I know is that is a McDonald's symbol. That's a Japanese McDonald's promo. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna put this one aside. And it's, oh, it's a little beaten up here. You can see it, but that's not a Mega. Okay, it just look like a Mega from the shape of it, but cool. Then it's Latios. I like it, I like it a lot. Fire typing is really cool for it. Put you aside, even though you're really rough. Oh, look. It's another Shellos. <laughs> they said there weren't going to be any duplicates. Mm -mm. Careful with your eBay purchases, guys. Okay, here's one I don't know at all. What is this thing? Somebody tell me. That is beyond my uh, reach of Pokemans. So I'm going to need a little assistance in this one. Chingling! Okay, I've heard the name of this one before. So I assume this is like a little ghost bell. Yo, Thomas! What's up, man? Why aren't you at League? I go back to League and you're not there anymore, dude. Baby Pokemon from Chimecho. Sure. <laughs> That's a whole generation. I have no idea. I have no idea about the generation. But Baby Pokemon. Okay, I think I heard somebody talking about this recently because of, they were talking about Baby Pokemon. You got work now? Well, you know, you got to make that money. Well, we have to see you back, dude. That'd be really cool. Um, it's It's been different. It's been different. Here we have a promo. Carnivine. This is one I know. Carnivine, A, A, got one right. Go me, yes, got that Carnivine. These are really beaten up. November will be back for sure. Awesome, man. Well then, uh, hopefully we see you sometimes before November, maybe by November, you know, whatever works. Gotta get that money. And we got another Chingling. Grass Energy, hey, I got that one right. That's cool, dude. Whenever, you know, no rush, but yeah, I just, just wanted to give you a little, Little push. Oh, huh? 
hello, this is a promo of some sort, and it's, oh, these are in really rough shape, unfortunately. Um, I want to say that's Bisharp, Bisharp, am I correct there? Get it in the light. Light. Relight my fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, Bisharp, good. Or Bisharp, however you want to call it. No idea. No idea. You could just hop on live streams while at work. No, 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 but I'm saying, <laughs> hi, Viva. I'm just saying that's, uh, with Thomas, like, you're talking about him being, um, at league, at least he means like, Burmy. Ah, okay. Diamond of Pearl, of course, I have no idea. So, Burmy, Sandy Cloak. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So far, nothing too, oh, this one's adorable. Munchlax. Yay! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, DP, that was Gen 4, right, Thomas? Oh, man. I do like the Munchlax. These are all promos, by the way. They got a weird set symbol on the side. Meiji or something like that. Meiji. 2008. So, I'm going to take a look at these afterwards. Yes, <laughs> you'll get... Don't worry, Viva. You're going to get the, uh, the Munchlax. Um, okay. This one is Star Raptor. Please tell me it's Star Raptor, not Star Ravia. Oh, I'm such a noob. Why did they put all these generations that I don't know? Because the other generations are all, you know, very rare cards, I guess. <laughs> I was hoping for like really new stuff. Star Raptor, am I correct on that one? Maybe. Actually. Aviva, answer me this. How are you streaming while at work? Hmm. Hmm. Staravia. I wanted to say Staravia, but I thought that this would be a stage one. Okay, I thought Staravia was a stage one. Okay. Or stage two. Stage, okay. Staravia. Also that promo. They're all that promo for the most part. What? Here we have, oh, you guys might know this one because it's from XY7. It's also first edition card. Some weird shovel thing. So, uh, you know. Oh, you're your break. Okay, that, that makes sense, Viva. Uh, yeah, if there's a hiccup in the connection, I'm sorry. I'm using my 4G because our connection here at home, just trick shovel, okay. Our connection here at home is very hiccupy, and I'm having troubles even making tweets right now, so I'm using my own uh, home connection. Well, here we have a Litten from Sun and Moon Base. Cool. Sure. Or no, SMP one, so this would be from Guardians Rising, I guess. All right, got a Litten Litten. Got an Altaria right here. Oh, come on, Hollows. Well, they mentioned that promos were the thing for this one. They said EXs, Hollows, and promos. And I got the EXs and GXs, and man, there are a lot of promos here. This is from Black and White 5, also first edition, a little beat up. Swablu, I thought it was Altaria. You're right, that's basic, it's Swablu. Dude, mm, yeah, mm, mm. Oh, uh, rip me, man. Ugh. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should stick to English cards. They have the names on the card, right? <laughs> no, I like to learn these things. Okay, this one I know. This one I know. This one is... Uh... Come on. Name. Of course, it's the one name I can't remember. I know you have Goodbite. You have Garchomp. You have. Is this one Gabite? That's Gabite, right? Because it is Gabite. Okay. What is the, the basic called then? Now, Garchomp is stage two, my dude. Aha! I'm not the only one making mistakes here. <laughs> good. Good. Um, what was the little one then? Little, little. Mm, gibble! Because the little one looks like something that would be like a little gabite. Yeah, Vile, honestly, I had the same thing. At first I was like, oh, it's a Garchomp. But then I looked really closely and it had the gibble right there. All right, you see it right there. So that's what tipped me off of that one. Okay, here we have a Beldum. That one I know. Beldum, Beldum, Beldum. Oh. We have a first edition. Whoa, what set is this from? 2010. Don't know what this is. Kangaskhan. Hey, Blue Gear, what's up, man? All my duchies showing up today. 
Got a Kangas Khan. You're just in time, Lugia. We have not pulled anything too astounding just yet. Uh, but this was on the outside of it. Ooh, best card so far. It's that full art textured Raichu GX. Heart Gold Soul Silver? That's what I thought. I just didn't realize it was in back already in 2010. Goodness. Okay, I, this is the L. Yeah, that'd be Soul Silver then. Uh, so this is from Diamond and Pearl. Oh god, I don't know this Pokemon. I know the name. I mean, I don't know the name. I know the Pokemon. I just don't know the name. Clutch! What's up, dude? Yeah, Clutch, man. That, that full art was just there for, like, to advertise it. You, you open it. You just look at the cube and you're like, yep, there's a full art. Name. Zangoose. Thank you. Uh, every time I hear the names, too, I'm like, I knew this. I knew this. Mm, okay, that's a Zangoose. Y'all. <laughs> well, we have a Rainbow Energy. Oh, yeah. And a, ooh, wow. A really old Heart Gold Soul Silver Super Scoop Up. That's cool. I like the, look, what well, you can't see is covering the finger. Look at the little symbol there. It's got a little snivy on it. I love weird stuff like this. Love it. When you think you got nothing, you're like, well, that's weird. Usually they mean something. <gasps> hey, here we go. First ultra rare of this cube, apart from me outside of it. Noivern break. Do, 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 do. Is that Furious Fists? Okay. Then I have no idea what HS stands for then. Okay. I thought, I thought Heart Gold Soul Silver because HS. Furious Fists. Fair enough. But no even break. Do, 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 do. I think I had this in English as well. In my goodie bag. Oh man. Yamask? Is that Yamask? Messi! What did it do, y'all? What did it do? Ah. Uh, gotta welcome a southern boy over here. This one's also first edition from Black and White. Yeah, that's Yamask, right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Ah, I think I know this one too. These are these are such a good little trivia thing. It's like name that Pokemon. Maybe I'm wrong. It looked like Furious Fist to me though. No, dude, it totally could be Furious Fist. They have different names in Japanese, so it's not gonna say Furious Fists on it. Um, HS totally could have been the set name in Japanese. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't know. But this is a Joltik, correct? And I don't know holding these on for a long time. So anybody who's watching this after the stream, I have like six people here in stream uh, who are helping me out. Um, so I'm reading their comments and waiting for the comments to pop up on my end. So uh, if I'm holding a card for too long, then I'm waiting for confirmation. And there you go, Valerie just told me that, yes, this is Joltik. I was correct. Yay. Nice little trivia. Uh, this is, ooh, um, mm, I know, uh, mm, mm, that's not Zeb Strike, is it? This one evolves, does it not? And also, let me know if I need to adjust the light or anything so you can see these better. I have no, I mean, I can only see it on my screen, and I have no idea how clear that is for you. I also keep, like, tapping it every now and then just to make sure it kind of focuses. It's kind of grainy in here. One day, you'll have, like, really good light <laughs> and this sort of stuff. Um, but normally, with my setup, it's in a corner that gets a lot of light, and this, this area does not. Um, Blitzel. I knew it. I knew it turned into Zeb Strike. I was going to say, like, I remember this thing being a lot more evil-looking in a stage one. Okay, Blitzel. Uh, from black and white base, actually, first edition. Good good condition, too, even though it's just a common. Um, some of these cards, these cards are getting in pretty good condition. Oh, and no wonder why, because we're getting into stuff like Tierno <laughs> from X and Y base. Uh, so these are a lot newer cards, and they are keeping in pretty good condition. Oh, this one. Interesting. MMB. I don't know what the set that is. From 2015. But we have a Reggie Gigas. Oh, what did you say there, Vile? Eh, he says, I'm good with names, just not what gen what they are from past gen three. Ah, oh, fair enough. You know, so, you know, you don't need to know what gen they are, uh, as long as you help me with the names. But yeah, Regigigas, that's pretty cool. Um, gen five, all right. Yeah, that's super cool. Uh, God, this, guys, ugh, let me just show you this. We still have this much to go. <laughs> We've barely cracked into this thing. Um, you know what? I'm not even going to try. Uh, I want to say this is like a Silcoon or something like that. Some, some butterfly thing that I know I've seen before. And I hate myself for not knowing what this is. But this is also from Black and White. I don't know much about Black and White. I will, I'll fess up to that. Seriously, Diamond Pearl, Black and White, and uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Beautyfly, thank you. Beautyfly. 
Ugh. Ugh. Oh, come on. This one, I just, I've never even seen this one before. <laughs> you can tell I really wasn't into it at the time. So this one's just a complete mystery. Oh, no. I see a horribly mis, mis, misused card here. Ugh, we'll get to that in one in a moment. What is this thing? Uh, it is from... You having a guess with me? <laughs> it's also from Black and White. I have no idea. So I'm glad to see that there are other people like myself who are like, oh, well. This is Carablast? Okay. This is a name I've heard. It's a Pokemon I've never seen before. Okay. Cool. Carablast. Nice. I really wish I was collecting a Black and White. I love the artworks on these things. Mmm. Skip Loom? Am I correct with that one? I think that's a Skip Loom. I believe it goes Hop Up, Skip Loom, Bray Loom. Ding, doom, 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 doom. Yeah, good. Skip Loom. Uh huh, I'm a boss. Hooray. Oh no. Why you gotta do this to me, yo? No idea. Don't tell me this was the Silcoon or something. Uh, again, I recognize Pokemon. Seen it. I think I've even seen it in recent sets. Just, I just don't, you know, if I don't play it or if I don't collect it, I tend to not know it. That makes no sense. Why is Skiploom turned into something other than Breloom? Pokemon. Get your name straight. Jumpluff? What a weird... Mm. Pokemon. Come on. Come on. So this is either Sk This is Cascoon. Okay. Cascoon, Cascoon. Skiploon, Cascoon. Mmm, look at there. Oh, what's this one, guys? I don't know. Is that a water energy? No, it's grass energy. Skip, jump. But then why isn't it like a jump bloom? Why is it like... Why is it a jump pluff? I don't... I don't understand that. Oh, hello. Swan thing. I should rename this to uh, Hollow Hunter doesn't know his Pokemon. Because <laughs> I don't, I've never seen this one either. I've seen the, the little duckling thing there before, but I have no idea what this is. It's a swan thing. Swanna. Okay. Swanna. Y'all good with your names. So many Pokemon. You guys know them all. See, also this one. I don't know what Oshawott turns into. No idea. Didn't play it. What is it? What does Oshawott turn into, guys? <laughs> Why are there no Gen 7 stuff in here? Or Gen 1 or Gen 2? Do what? Asha what do what? Okay, sorry, that was silly, but it sounded silly. Hey, look, we have another Switch, so we can make up for the Switch that's completely mangled. This one's in pretty decent shape. Uh, that's funny. Not for the best in XY, unfortunately. Ah, this one I know. Torkoal. There we go. From 2011, Torkoal. Nice. Matang. It's a cool looking Matang. Just, just coming out up there, right? Attacking you. Also from Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Also first edition. Pretty happy with that. Yay, I got one right. Oh, also, I'm going to get this one right because it's Pelipper. First shiny Pokemon I ever caught. Which I know is not much of a feat, but hey, it's a shiny Pokemon that I caught, so I know Pelipper, because I've caught way too many Pelipper in the video games. But, so yeah, first edition Pelipper right there from, I'm gonna say, Platinum? 2004, has PT on it. I think that's from Platinum. Oh! Oh, bummer. This is an E Energy, but it's not BS. If only read it. First ever shiny was Dotrio with this ugly blue nose. Was it like, I assume from one of the older games then? I have, um, I'm very curious what the Alolan Dotrio will look like as a shiny. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Warmadam? Aw, oh, Shiny Zora. That sounds like a really good shiny to get. Pokemon Diamond. Nice. That's, that's a long time ago. I think I have... I have diamond. Yeah, I bought diamond recently, actually. I'm correct, right? This is, is this Wormadam? Wormadam? Damn? Wormadam? Yeah. Plant Cloak Wormadam. Cool. Yeah, that's from X and Y. It's a pretty recent card. 
Oh, and again, uh, I don't know. Whatever turns into Wormadam? I don't know. Mm. Mm. I knew Wormadam because it's got a cool name. This thing probably doesn't have a cool name. And I bet you I know its name. It's Burmy, and I knew Burmy. I knew Burmy. 800 Pokemon. <laughs> Stop it with the things I don't know. Moth thing. I agree, Poker Clutch. If they did different colored hair in the shiny, that would be... Oh, on every head. That's a cool idea. I really like that idea. Motham. Okay. Like the Mothman. Motham. That would be so cool, though. Get on every single head. Like, you have, like, pink and then blue and then maybe some sort of, like, radioactive green or something. Kind of make it similar to the Lowland Muck with all the weird colors. Um... Slugma? Slugma, right? You're saying... Hmm. I see what you did there, sir. You're saying... Yay, Slugma. Good. Figured Slug, Magma. Oh, I didn't know that Slugma evolved, though. <laughs> I was doing so well. Hey, tell me, what does it turn into? Inform me. Kind of cool that they have these evolution chains in here, though. Pretty happy with that. Macargo. Okay. No, it's a new one to me. Macargo. News to me. We got a paint roller, though. Just can't wait for Gold and Silver on 3DS. Yeah, same. That's going to be amazing to play Gold and Silver. I mean, I could play it on my Game Boy if I wanted to, but it's going to be good on the 3DS. And I'm, I'm personally looking forward to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. A lot of people are not. <laughs> they have made that very clear online, but I'm excited. Really happy for it. And we have an Apom. Monkey, monkey. Uh-huh. And a Excavalier, I believe. Yeah, they're bringing it back. Sun and Moon. Oh, not Sun and Moon. Gold and Silver are going to be a digital download for 3DS. I have Emerald on SP, but don't have a Classic anymore. Cool. That's cool. I wish I had an SP when they came out. I wasn't really into it at the time, but now I wish I had one. Oh, this is neat. It's still a recent card, but I like, I like this Magmar. He's just like, yo, what's up? What's up? Ultra rare time. Zygarde. Oh yes, Sideguard EX. There we go, and it is in pretty decent shape. In the back, it's got some uh, wear and tear here. Uh, maybe mainly here, but the front is gorgeous. Gorgeous as can be. Not a first edition, so it must have stopped it by that time, but uh, it's pretty nice. So I'll put that right there with my ultra rares. And we're back to the very, very common cards with the Zubat. <laughs> Man, when they, uh, they hit, they hit hard, don't they? Ponyta! Look at that. I don't know why I said it that way. I'm sorry. That's weird. Fire energy. Goes that Ponyta. That is such a good condition card. Whoa. First edition. Guard Chomp Hollow. YouTubical TV, what's going on? You just walked in right when I got the first normal holographic card out of the set, and I'll be honest, I look for these babies way more than I look for the ultra rares, especially in Japanese. This thing is thick. It is in immaculate condition. It's a first edition. It's from, it says PT, so I assume it's from Platinum Era. It's from 2009. That is a beautiful card, and I got the goodbye earlier. I didn't bring these sleeves to the side of the room, but there are sleeves in the house. Don't worry, I'm putting them down very gently. This is a perfect card. Very happy with that one. Yes. And another fire energy. Yeah. <laughs> um, Rock Rough. That's a cool one. Is this from the thing? I, nope, this is also from, uh, I believe, Guardians Rising. For a moment, I thought it was the one that you can get in... Um, one of their expansions. No, uh, from the Team Rocket deck. What? 
Lugia, yeah, totally agree. It's it's crazy. I could feel the difference. Like this Zygarde here, this is thinner than that Garchomp. This is like wah, 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 really wobbly. Even this GX feels a bit. It's full art. This thing is like a brick. It's really thick. What is that? Is that a Mindfu? No, Mindfu is doing like stuff. What is this thing doing? It offends me. I don't know what this is. It's an old card. Oh, this is so old it has a set symbol on it. It's from 2004, also versus Meditite. Okay. <laughs> okay. Meditite, you offend me. Good condition, by the way. Here we have an Agron Spirit Link. Oh, 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 Aviva's acting like she knew. <laughs> you didn't know. You're just repeating everybody. But thank you for playing. Pampy. Oh, Adorbs. Adorbs, that's what this is. Rename this. Adorbs. Adorbs, Adorbs. Oh, yes. That Aviva. I know. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, I forgot to put my uh, Noivern with the other good pools. We will recap all the good stuff. Hey, look, it's a Zangoose again. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you like that Fanfi card? I can put it aside for you. Adorable, man. It's not a rare, but you know. Oh, another Delta species here. For, let's see. We have Bagon. Bagon turns into Shogon. Is that what that is? Shogon? Torturance of Salamence. Again, know the Pokemon, just don't know the name. We have Fire Typing here. Dawn Fan, solid against Raikou. Yeah, well, Shogon, that's what I thought. Nailing it. Ah, uh, another one of those. I know this Pokemon, but I forget its name. Joltik turns into Garvantula? That's Professor K. All right. <laughs> yeah, Garvantula. Cool. Steel Energy. So see, there's a lot of just random stuff in here. If only they were all hollows. Oh my god. Evangelith. Yeah, thank you. Oh, nice. Vintage pull. Switch. I believe that's a switch. Yeah, it's a switch. Old switches. They look so cool. A few of those in English, too. Love them. Um. Hmm. I'm, you know, I'm not even going to try. I know that Manetric is what it turns into, but what is this? Such a shame, the TCG is language locked. Right, I, I wish that I could play some of these cards. You know, if you know what the card does, you should be able to play it, but it's got a different back. And if you have a slightly see-through sleeve, then you have an advantage over people who don't. Um, what do you mean not steel? Steel energy, metal energy, whatever. Steel typing. This is entertaining. Well, I'm got Electrike, thank you. I thought I was gonna say Electrike. Ugh. I was thinking of Electros and everything. Me. You got four of those in English, yeah. Well, I hope you play them, because those are, mm, they're beautiful. Much better than, uh, than this Switch. I just, I don't, I don't like the new Switch at all. Um, lightning or Electric Energy, whatever you want to call it. Potato, tomato, yes. Well done, sir. Well played. Um... Star Raptor, Star Ravia, and Starly. Got it. Starly. There we go. Right? Please tell me that that's Starly. <laughs> By the way, we're half an hour in. This much to go. Swellow! You're right, it's Swellow. I saw a star on the forehead. It's totally Swellow. About that full art switch. Heart Gold Soul Silver Base is even nicer. Oh, I'll have to take a look at that one then. I like most of the cards from Heart Gold Soul Silver. I think that's the area that I. Um, you sure it's Taylor? Isn't Taylor the uh, evolution? Because this is basic. Taylor, okay. Here it is again. Close up. Basic. We're having fun. Ah. You sell colors. Uh, fair enough. They do have the same colors. So it is it is Swellow, right? It is Swellow. 
In any case, what I was saying, um, yeah, Heart Gold Soul Silver makes me very sad that I wasn't collecting at the time. Okay, so Swell is the Evolution Talo is, and eh, it sounds weird to me, but um, sure. No! No! Oh, that's horrifyingly sad. So look first and foremost at the condition of this card. this this is depressing oh it's even more depressing when you see that it's a Zekrom EX why couldn't you be a switch I hoped so much this was gonna be a switch oh no such a beautiful card too uh, lame varying conditions they say oh hello reverse hollow okay so here's where I really need your help maybe if you were like really smart with your cards and you can go way way back you will know what these are we're getting into some supporters and trainers and stuff and I have one here from heart gold soul silver who this guy is he's got a nice shiny Reverse hollow card, which is very greasy for some reason. I don't know why that is. It feels kind of slimy. Um, but who that is? Y'all y'all know this? Or should I just stick to asking you what the Pokemon are when I'm too stupid to realize what they are? We've got, we've got quite a dent going, by the way, guys. So we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But this. Oh, man. Just... <laughs> why? Yeah. Anybody do any research? You guys got quiet when you saw the card. I get him close. Not sure. Eh, we'll not take time on the trainers then. But hey, we got a reverse hollow. Yay. Those are nice. And we have a. Oh, I hate the. They all sound the same. Um. No, I'm not even. Let's go lurk. Turn what turns into go lurk. Uh, it's a go something. A go 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 lurk or lock or lurk. Go light. What I want to say. Go lurk. Go light. Go and take a bite. I don't know. Go let. Close. That was close. close. Go let. I've never, I have never known, don't know at all. I know we have Aaron, and then you have Agron. I don't know what's in between. No idea what that thing is. Um, you know, yeah. So, good guessing game, but uh, this is, again, this is what, uh, an old set, so. Sage's training, Undaunted 77. Wow, look at there, there's a Laron, cool. Primal Lugia coming through with the really old school knowledge there. Okay, awesome. Are we seriously down to three people? Goodness. Um, remind me, I knew this one, but I, I, I'm, I'm lost. I know you Googled it, but still, you know, you're looking like a guru here, taking snapshots, looking it up on Google. Oh, man, I'm going to hate myself when I hear the name of this one because I know this Pokemon, but this is the problem with Japanese cards. If you just don't know them very well. Dunsparce, thank you. I knew it was something that I recognized. I knew it was. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, hey. Zora. Oh, yeah. I believe it was Vile Rage who said that he got the shiny version of this first. That's awesome. Grass energy. Oh, really? Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Grandpa's pre-Evo, <laughs> basically. Trubbish. I know that one because I play Trubbish. Not this particular Trubbish, but I play Trubbish in my Mewtwo deck. Wait a minute, why? Yeah, okay, for a moment I thought this was a uh, vending promo. Ugh. Monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. What are you doing here? Yeah, I have one 1200 CP kind of savage. Nice, nice. Hmm. Go away, monkey. Make it some tea. 
And we have a vanilla light. I always get vanilla-ish and vanilla light through each other, but I believe this is vanilla light and it's vanilla-ish and then it's vanilla ice. That's what I would say. But I could be wrong. Could be the way around. It's an ice cream. It's a temple. It's a very weird Pokemon, in my opinion. Oh, a plasma card. We have a leopard, I believe. Oh, couldn't believe they made an ice cream Pokemon. Me neither. That's that's just too weird to me. Um, Boniri? Is that is it Boniri? It's that female one that people are way way too into. And you know who you are. You know who you are. Low punny. Cool. Got it. Low punny. Low punny. Uh, exactly, they made a set of keys into a Pokemon. That's right, you typical. I've weird. Mrs. Diggersby. Yeah. Miss oh, I get you mean Mrs. Diggersby. This is by Sharp. Okay. By Sharp. Mm -hmm. Didn't I get that one right earlier? Ah, oh, I know this one. I know this one, but I don't know the name. We have this one in English. Um, this guy. It's this leaf dragon thing. From the from the ages of the dinosaurs. The leaf dinosaur of the unknown dinotopia. Tropius. Cool. Thank you. Banana beast Tropius. <laughs> Hey, I like this one. May not be in the best shape, may not be the most rare card out there. Um, but we got a Moltres, guys, and that is a really cool looking Moltres. Look at that. I'll dig it, I'll dig it. Put that with the Latias. And we have another Goulette, right there. Oh, hello. All these ultra rares seem to be from the recent sets, let me see, because the Zekrom, now the Zekrom is from black and white. Oh well. Well guys, decent shape, Mega Rayquaza EX. Oh yeah, with the Garotensai attack. Look at that, dragon typing. That's pretty sweet. I don't know if this thing's valuable or not, but it looks pretty beastly, it's amazing looking. I, I dig it. I dig it. Put that down with the ultra rares. So, so far we're on five, well, six ultra rares. Five and a really crazy one. I want to say this is Whirlipede. No, Vinipede. Vinipede. Vin -vin Vinipede. Because remember, Vinipede, Whirlipede, Skullipede. I have to agree, uh, Clutch. This is pretty amazing regular art. Sometimes regular art's just oh, so good. So good. Ah, Vinipede. Um, why can I not remember your name? I know its name, and when you say it, it's gonna hurt me. Wurple. Thank you. Wurple. Hariyama. Got that one. Oh, yeah, Hariyama. Hariyama. Fungus? I think? I think that's a fun. It's a fungus! Right? Sans reason. For black and white, I don't know. A mungus! Really? Okay. Sure, the basics of mungus? One of the. One of the fungus. A uh, mungus, or whatever. Worm. Yeah, worm Pokemon, exactly. Well, let's just. Yeah, worm Pokemon. Hey, we here we have Contemplative Woman. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. So, I wonder if she just makes you draw cards or something like that. Hey, my boy. We got Pinsir right there. There we go. Some Pokemon I recognize. Because I'm a Gen 1-er. Uh, this would probably be Vanillish. The bigger... Ice cream Pokemon. 
Red card. You're out of here. No, draw four cards. Um, for your opponent. Temple. Quacky Cactus Man. <laughs> Again, I've seen this Pokemon plenty of times. Uh, never really come across its name. So for me, it's Quacky Cactus. Quactus. There we go. It's a Quactus. I'm going to name this Quactus. Ludicolo. Ah, uh, thank you, Chiltra. I'm Ludicolo. I actually had this conversation with Master Cobra while we were on a stream. I was like, what the hell kind of Pokemon is that? He's like, it's Ludicolo. I was like, what's Ludicolo? I was like, oh, dude, I don't know anything. Wait, was that Fungus? If he doesn't have Pokeball Shields, then it's Fungus. Um, let me take a quick look and find it again. It has a Pokeball Shield. Yeah. Right here. It's a basic type. And it's got the Pokeball on it. Three of them. It's just got one. Oh, I'm still streaming. Oh, it's so funny. I got a comment just now. It's Fungus. I was right. Yay. She got a comment right now. I was like, oh, I seem to miss the streams. I'm like, I'm, I'm on right now. <laughs> hey, look at that. We got a Nidoran. Yeah, female. That's cool. Another ice cream. Lillipop. Carvana. <laughs> Another vanillish, but a different artwork. Looking far more surprised. Oh, that's what it's saying. I think that one was trying to be eaten. An Aaron. Shout out to Aeldon. Hariyama, two of my favorites. Oh, cool. Ludicolo and Hariyama. Those are pretty cool. Uh, I got a fire energy, by the way. Ludicolo is just so weird to me. It's a duck that's a cactus with a hat. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon. <laughs> Fighting energy. I wish I could play the energies. That's the thing I wish I could do the most. I, I don't really care so much that I can't play the cards. Energies would be amazing to play. This one's got a different kind of texture to it, but uh, we have a Litwick. It's pretty cool. I like it when the Litwicks are psychic uh, types. Make them real clear ghosts. We just had you. Dunsparce. I remember Dunsparce. I just don't think it looks like Dunsparce. When I hear about Dunsparce, I expect it to be a different Pokemon. I don't know why. Another Dunsparce. I'm actually going to put this one aside. So, I know somebody who's collecting all the Pokemon with the, uh, like, figurines and stuff. Oh, this is an interesting one. Um, again, a Pokemon I've seen. Don't know. Wasn't the Carvana you said? A Basculin? Probably a Basculin, dude. Because um, I don't know what a Basculin is. I, you know, I said Carvana because it looked like a piranha. What the, what's, what's dog thing? This is a, this is a Gazoon? Okay. I'm going to leave you. This is a Gazoon for that one. Um, let me get the Basculin back. Yeah, it's probably Basculin because now I look at it, it really doesn't look like a Carnivine at all, actually. I think it's Basculin. Still. <laughs> Another Litwick. Amazing how the quality of this Litwick is just so much better than all the other cards. It's just a common card. Very thick, though. Aww. Fledgling. Another Zigazoon. Well... Clutch, I'm sorry, but we have another Dunsparce here. Hey, that's cool. Oh, this is from a special set, too. It's from CP2. First edition, mint condition, Pikachu EX. Look at that. And I love the hollow pattern. There, you can see it right there. Look at that kind of checker pattern they did in this. This is one of those special sets where everything was just super glossy. That's a score. This is not like the most valuable card in the world or anything, but yeah, boy, you can't go wrong with Pikachu. Goes with my Raichu GX. Oh, yeah. And it is, I mean, it's minty fresh. Good, good, good quality card. I may even get that one graded, even though it's not the most valuable. Fire Energy. Going in that binder. Yep, totally is. <gasps> Yay! First edition, Ghastly. To go with my Ghastly collection. Yes. Because I'm collecting Ghastlies and Haunters. Ah, oh, I love these old ones. That's one of the best looking Ghastlies I've ever seen. Yes, put that aside for my Ghastly collection. 
Here we have a Houndoom Spirit Link. This one's beat up, but it's just a fire and energy from whatever HS is. I guess Heart Gold Soul Silver. It's got a little, a little uh, tepig there. Number nine, it says. Weird to me. Whoa, another holo, and what a holo. Whoa, cool. Um, I don't know what LL stands for. It's 2010, maybe you guys know this one. We got ourselves a holographic Snorlax. Oh, yeah. What is this? Next Pokemon game, we'll have new unknown. What? We're having new unknown? That's awesome. That's super cool. I love unknowns. That is an amazing... Look at that. What, what's going on there, guys? That's creeping me out. Uh, yeah, it goes with the cute Munchlax. Okay, fine. Omega, this one rated too. That's an amazing condition card. Uh, put you with the Garchomp. Because you're also in pretty good shape. And we got a Haunter! What's up, Thomas? Dude, Thomas. Check that out. Pikachu EX. Freaking Haunter to go with my Ghastly. Are they the same set? They are the same set. They're both first edition. They're both good. Yes! More Hollows. We are getting into it now, guys. Um, oh, I know this one. It's uh, Sigilyph. Sigilyph Hollow from Black and White. Also in pretty immaculate condition. Please, more hollows. Please, more hollows. Oh, I know that one Black and White Girls starter deck. Energy. Ah. So a starter deck then, huh? Let's take a left. We have a reverse hollow. A Lolan Vulpix. Cute. I have plenty of those, though. Oh, I believe this is a Pal Pad from Flashfire. It's a promo. I forget if this is reverse ticket, correct? Not weakness policy, this is reverse ticket. Professor Sycamore! If only I could play that. Well, at least I have a proxy right there. <laughs> Low on Sycamores. Mega Turbo. Now we're getting some cards I've seen before. Oh! First edition Team Aqua Ball. That's cool. Never seen that before. Okay. This one's hard to tell, but I think this is for the Survivor. <laughs> Bravo Wolf, what's going on? Survivor. That's an awesome artwork, by the way. I love when you actually have Pokemon battling in the artwork. So, yeah. It's a common card, but that's an awesome, awesome looking card. Going a little faster now. Ooh, another really cool looking card. A common, but we have an Aqua's Grimer. That's super cool. Check that out. Oh, um, Trap Inch? No. No, that's something else. Your enemies look at the Pokedex. That makes sense. Of course. Yes. Of course they would be there. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bravo Wolf Clan. I appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. I'm glad you can make it to the stream. I always love seeing people who are enjoy, you know, enjoying the videos come to the stream. Brace boy, what's going on? Can I narr narr narrate your life? Oh, come on. I just sound like a nasally American dude. Here's a perugly for you, by the way. But if you want, I mean, I could always go the... Um, the Wazi route and have like a Patreon service where if people want, they can, they can pay me to make them like alarm clocks or something like that. It's time to wake up. Another trap inch. Rip. Let's, uh, let's have a moment of silence for a deceased card. Noivern GX. Come on, man. We're getting there, guys. Whoa, this is the trippiest energy I've ever seen. Look at this. <laughs> you will subscribe to the Hollow Hunter. You will subscribe to the Hollow Hunter. You will subscribe. Don't mention Noivern GX. Why? What's wrong with Noivern GX? Noivern GX is a 
beast if you can get the right energies on it. Hey, yo, Primal Lugia. Sup, boy? I believe this is from uh, the best of XY. Going from the, the silver border here and the fact this is not a holographic card. Um, there you go. Got a Lugia. Put that aside. Put that in my collection. And another Perugly. So much bulk. There's nothing I could do with it either. Just gonna like throw it away. Thank you. Rest in peace, Double Dragon Energy. It's a movie energy. Okay. Maybe I'll put that aside then. Um, well, it's from 2009. So maybe like close to the 10th anniversary movie. Uh, we got another Survivor. So. And. Ah, no, monkey. Oh, God, no. Get it out of here. Even if it is a first edition monkey. It's crafty? You think? Pokemon, I don't know. It was Best of XY. That's what I thought. Still cool. I don't have a single card from Best of XY. Nuzleaf. Okay, cool. Well, this one is a. Um, mm, 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 I know it. Mm, 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 a crocodile. And then. Crocorock? I believe that's what the. No, crocodile was before. Mm. Yeah, Sand Isle, Crocorock, Crocodile. Yeah. Brain fart there when I knew those cards. Um. Barbarical? Barbarical, right? Come on. Binacle! I, oh, duh, there's two. Of course it's binacle. Barbarical's got, like, the whole head arm thing going on. Well, here we have Charge Bug. Where'd all the hollows go? We only have three. Come on. Hollows, hollows, hollows. Oh, I'll take this, too. Wow. Another really good shape card. We've got a Manetric EX. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. I'll take that. So now we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ultra rares out of the set and three hollows and a ghastly and a haunter. I'm excited. I don't, I don't know what this means, but I, that's my excitement thing. Um, here, have a chin chow. I'm glad the stream's still going, by the way. We're almost an hour in. We have a Manetric to go with the Manetric EX, I suppose. I know they don't really stack up, but we have a Manetric. Temple. Almost didn't recognize it because the only time I've really seen Tim Pole was when it was the, the stitched form that we have now in uh, Sun and Moon. Crushing it, I know. Suddenly there's things I actually understand. Uh, electric, right? This is electric for Electros. Which, by the way, back to back. What's going on there? Hey, this next one's marked. Weird. It's a rare. It's got a marking on it. Anybody you know speak Japanese or read Japanese? Is that a signature? Or is that a yen mark? No idea what that is. But it is a victory bell. One day. <laughs> now we have a stir after. One day you speak Japanese. I'm wanting to speak Japanese as well. I'd love to learn that. But I'm having a hard enough time learning Dutch. So, Star Raptor though, right? Just remember the Star Avia was the stage one, and this is a stage two. So, send the pic to me via DM. I'll figure it out. Cool, man. I'll send you the photo. I'll put this aside then, and I'll send you the photo after, uh, after the stream's done. Another Manetric. Oh, that's cool. We have a Frontier Brain Skarmory. Watashi wa koto Natsubo homi. No, I know no guarantee, Lugia, but I appreciate you trying to help out. Um, a video game arcade thing uh, from Black and White. Maybe you guys played this back when you were playing Black and White. Uh, you know what train of this is? Excuse me. <clears throat> <laughs> Excuse me. So that that thing here, take a good look at it. Maybe you know what that is. But I'm gonna move on to the next one. We're getting into some really rough shape ones now. Computer search, maybe Bravo. Uh, I assume that could totally be it. We have a really beat up 
uh, lightning energy. Again, weird promo. I wonder what HS means, because this is number two with a Tepig on it. This one's beat. Oh my goodness! Remember last time I said it was really beat up? We have another one of those uh, Latiasas. Look at that. That's cool. Delta Species card. Another really beat up card. Oh! It's a Chansey. It's a Chansey. That was a solid flow of Japanese English. Well, thank you, man. Thank you. Um, here we have a camera up. Another fire energy with, again, the little symbol. This time it has uh, Fennekin on it with a 14. I don't know what those are. HXY is what it says. Larvesta. Man, this cube. Can it? Let's get it with some more. Come on, let's do this. Pokeball. Um, the thing that turns into Manectric. <laughs> Electric? I believe we established that this was Electric, isn't it? Um, oh no, the next one's so beat up, and it's it's a good card, unfortunately. Electric, okay. Rip, another one. Oh no. Terrible shape. It doesn't really show up as well on camera, but we had a Cabalion EX. Mmm. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, I feel so bad for it. But it is an ultra rare. It's also from black and white. These black and white cards were not taken care of, man. Um, clay doll or something like that. Ball toy. Ball toy, I believe this is what this one is. Um, yeah, this, this Cabalion is just, just, yeah. Yay, you got it right the second time, Ball toy. Uh, as I was saying, that was Ball toy. Hey, speaking of unknown, ba -ba -ba -bum, from Best of X Y. And we have a Snubble. Snubble. Oh, angry little Pokemon. Speeding through this. Oh no, Mr. Mime, go away. Klefki, there's that stupid uh, key ring we were talking about. <laughs> These are all from Best of XY, you can see from the silver border. Um, Gramble. That's not from the Best of XY though, what is that from? See, it's got a chest pin with an 18 on it. What is that? Another unknown. Hey. Also best of XY, first edition. No, it's not best of XY. Can't be. Yo, Clutch. Got an Entei for you. Doo -doo -doo. First edition. Put that Lugia. Swing up. I know it probably doesn't sound like that. It's probably more like a I don't know why but still. More fire energy. Goodness. Can make a deck out of this stuff. Another swing up. Uh, CB4, no, it says XY. Seven is what the uh, Entei is from. It's also an uncommon card. It's not even rare. But that's because by XY, the rares are only uh, hollows a, a wave at that point. Mantine. Meryl. Um... Oh my goodness. Lit <laughs> so many fire energies because this live stream is lit wick. Oh, chill charm. <laughs> Swirlix. Okay. I, yeah, I was going to say Slurpuff as well. That's not Jigglypuff, Brace. Brace, that is not Jigglypuff. Swirlix is what that is. <laughs> Another Klefki, different version. Same unknown. They told me minimal repeats, and I have three of the same card now. Uh, Spritzy? Am I correct on that one? I think it's a Spritzy. I'm amazed. My cat's being so quiet. Yeah, Spritzy. Awesome. It's Jigglypuff again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's pink as Jigglypuff. Um, Florges? No, that's not Florges. Oh, into the Cabalion with the ripped up Zekrom. Like a god church. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll just, yeah, you're right, Brace. Jigglypuff. We'll just, we'll just call it Jigglypuff. Uh, another Spritzel? No. God, we just had the Swirlix. That's Flabebe. Thank you. Flabebe, Swirlix. Another Snubble. We're in all the fairy Pokemon now. 
Ball toy. Getting a lot of repeats. Getting a little disappointed. Pokeball with that weird Tepig symbol on it. Is that another weird one? Some weird shape, but we have a Steelix from Diamond and Pearl. Rare. Put that down then. It's a rare. Back when they still had the non holo rares. Here we have a uh, Magmar. I know that Pokemon. I couldn't even think of the name. Mm, another Pokeball. Man. I'm a little disappointed with the amount of trainers are in this one. This is a cool looking Pokeball. I'll give them that one. But come on. Shiny shine. Let's do this. Oh, another Delta Species. <laughs> That's so cool. A little angry uh, fire type Delta Species horsey. Just looking really peed off there. <laughs> Just like, bah, die. Um, some sort of tool card. A literal tool card. Tool, 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 tool. I like to say tool card. We're getting there, guys. We have a Cedra. That's a nice looking Cedra. This is from Diamond of Pearl. It's also first edition. Promo Energy are from Learn to AT decks. So what does that mean? Do you know? Do you know what those kind of decks are for? Then, like, are they rare or anything? Are they just like pre-constructed decks? Piplup. That's adorable. Oh, my back. Let's get. Oh. Stretch your back, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure your back stays stretched. We're here an hour. We're almost there, though, guys. Thanks for staying so long with me for an hour, but we have this much to go. Still a bit of a stack, but you know, nowhere near as much. Like This is as much. Let me show you what we've done in an hour. And this is why I decided to stream this instead of doing a video. A learn to play. Okay, learn to play decks. Oh, so it's like a children's deck or something. That's cool. This is what we've gone through. Well, thank you, Vi. I'm glad you're entertained. I am having a blast. I love talking to you guys. Um, here we have... Oh, see, this is another Pokemon I don't really know. So we just had the Piplup. Um, oh, what's this? The Tepig stamp card is from the Girl Starter deck from Black and White. Interesting. I don't... I hope that's... I hope that's real. <laughs> what does Piplup turn into? I know it eventually turns into Empoleon. But I don't know the middle evolution, because again, this was a, a, a generation I was not in. Prinplup. Okay, so Pin, Piplup turns into Prinplup. Sure. Good. No, no, I'm sure. I was just I'm saying, I didn't know if you were making a joke or not. Cool. So yeah, it is the girl starter deck. Here we have what I think should be a hollow, but it's not. We have a um, superior. That's cool. PSA lot in stream. Oh my god, that'd be cool. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, sorry, it's nothing as great as the uh, Charizard that already came with it or the Mega Ray, but uh, pretty. Shout out to my boy, Master Cobra. We have first edition Raikou GX. Uh, GX EX, Raikou EX. You heard me. I corrected myself. From black and white. Let's see if we can get that nice and. That is nice. And it is in great shape. That is a freaking card right there. Oh, as soon as I felt it, my last bent, that's got some shine on it. We have a Chansey. Blissey. Hey, hey. Shout out to Darium's Pokemon. Gyarados. First edition there. Relicanth, Relican. I did that, yes. I do not apologize. Ooh, we got a promo. Oh, cool looking promo. We have a water type lantern. Check that out. I love those sorts of weird promo symbols. You can tell it's promo because the Black Star promo here. And the promo is from X and Y. It's number 111, XYP. That is pretty cool. <laughs> I really can't with these puns. <laughs> you will, and you will like it. Oh, here's one I just don't know. Okay, what is that? What, what, what is that? Terrifying is what it is, by the way. That's horrifying. Um, bring more in, I guess. I like creepy Pokemon. Um, it's like just frillish. Okay, that is spooky, guys. That is a terrifying looking Pokemon. I would not want to see that if I jumped in the water. Ugh. Um. We have a Delta Species water type Trebinch. 
The water jigglypuff, exactly. <laughs> ah, boo. Passimian. It's a Passimian. And that's a lightning energy. Oh, that's the one that turns into the Pringles card. Okay, cool. Grass energy. This is another one of those promos. It's got a Verizian stamp on it. So if you can find research on that, Verizian stamps, what do they mean? Uh, Swampert? I believe that's what that is. Um, I want to say this is Loudred, but I also want to say it's Exploud. That's Loudred. I got it right the first time. Okay, it's Loudred. Porygon! Yes. I know it's from Sun and Moon, but I love it. No, no, it's not Sun and Moon. It's X and Y. Also first edition. Another Litwick. Getting there, guys. We're getting close. We have a Venomoth. That's pretty cool. No old back cards. I was hoping there were going to be a few old back cards. I can tell you now, these are all... Yeah, these are all new cards. I can actually hold them all in my hand now. So we have... Another... Leopard. Inkay! <laughs> Wicked looking little Inkay. It's like... It, it's literally farting ink. Like, that ink is coming from behind it. It is farting ink. I should call it Ink Fart. Nice! I like this card. I don't know why. I know it's not a very cool card for a lot of people, but it's so trippy. We have a Spear Tomb that just looks just maniacal. This should have been hollow. Look at, it, look at all the detail on it. That's too cool. I want to have a GX for Spear Tomb. Cute looking bell sprout. You're new. What is that? I believe it turns into Avalug, but I could be wrong there. I don't know this one. It's just a complete new Pokemon to me. Bergmite. That's cool. Fero. And... Catmabob. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, oh, man. We were we had a, we had a good run there for a moment that, that I knew what they were. Delcaddy. Okay, I've heard the name of that one before. And the one that comes before it is my favorite evolution. Yeah. Yeah, Brace, it's also my favorite evolution. Skitty. I thought that was Skitty. I wanted to say Skitty with the other one, but oh, this next one's mangled, so I guarantee you it's a good card. Hey, Viva! We got a first edition Slowbro. That's cool. Put that aside for you. I don't want to know what card this is. I'm not even going to look at what card it is. I just want to show you what shape it's in. Oh, thank goodness. I can already see it's not an EX. You know what? Now that you mention it, Spiritomb GX would be lit. I agree. That would be amazing. Coming home early for your Slowbro. <laughs> well, I'll see you home soon. So, in case you guys haven't figured out, Aviva is the Huntress. Um, look at that card. See it? That. There you go. Now you can see it. That is horrifying. It's like a dog got to it. But fortunately, it is just a Japanese sycamore. <laughs> Dodged a bullet there. We have two cards left. So let's see what we got. I think we've gotten all of the ultra rares we were going to get from it. And we have, that's super cool, a first edition old fire energy. Not a hollow one. I actually have a couple hollow ones. Um, but I believe this is a hollow and phantoms fire energy. And the final card in our lot is... Oh, it's just some trainer that I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe you guys know this one. This is from Black and White. Looks like a stadium card. That's the final card. For the Hole and Phantoms energy? How's it look? Really good. Yeah, Brace. We have Jigglypuff Stadium. Exactly. 
yeah, this is the back of that fire energy. So, I don't know if these are valuable or not and they're not hollow, but I'll put it aside just in case. So, let's go through all the awesome things. Um, some of these are hollow, some of them are not. I totally forgot to put down the, uh, I think there's a card that I've even wanted. I totally forgot to put down. Okay, let me just get this together. Oh, there's also the same symbol. So with the victory bell, you see here, it's got it on the back, that writing. It's also right there in the front. Right there. What is going on with that card? That has to be somebody's name. Has to be. Um, put you in order of awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. Put you guys there. Mm -hmm. Excuse me while I just arrange things very quietly. A lot of electric type Pokemon. Very interesting. And there we go. Okay, so this is the recap. So if you were watching and you decided to just skip ahead because you're like, man, that's a lot of stuff. Um, no worries. Sorry, I had a notification. Just wiping that up. Here we go. So the good stuff. Look at this. This is the stuff that I liked. That's a pretty good amount, but I will say that is a pretty paltry amount compared to this. <laughs> um, but still not too bad. You know, could be way worse. And it's not every day you get to go through a bunch of really, really cool stuff. So first off is this really weird and really cool grass energy. Um, because somebody says movie promo makes me even more interested. Got the Holland Phantom Spy Energy, that's really cool. And we got two of these Delta Species Latias cards, which I think are really awesome. And they're McDonald's promos, that's what makes them really cool. Shame they're not in great condition. I really like this Moltres card, even though it's not a holographic card. We have the Fanfi for Aviva. We have Slowbro for Aviva. Got the Entei. Can't say no to Alugia. But now we get into all things shiny. We have our Sigalyph, Hollow Rare, black and white. Pretty obvious. We've got the, um, I don't know what set this is, but I'm pretty sure it's like Heart Gold Soul Silver kind of set. The Hollow Graphic Snorlax. I've seen this card before on a video from somebody. Love this card. Holographic Garchomp from Platinum. Love the Hollow pattern on that card. Actually, let's take a look at it. Oh, is this from Call of Legends? That's a Call of Legends card. Okay, thank you, Lugia. Nice. Was it also holographic in English? Uh, for my personal collection, Ghastly. And probably one of the best looking Haunter artworks I have ever seen. Can't wait to put those in a sleeve and then in my binder. Then we have the very unfortunate uh, Ultra Rares. So we have this really just destroyed and mangled Cobalion. It was not a holographic, a holographic in uh, English. Interesting, so it's just a rare. Makes me like it even more now. Already liked a lot. This is a really trippy card. Um, in fact, I think I recall somebody mentioning it. Why is this not a holographic card in English? Cool, well it was in Japanese. Um, and we've got this super mangled, awesome Zekrom EX from Black and White. Both of these cards are from Black and White and it just pains me, especially the Zekrom, because that is unacceptable. Um, Neuburn Break. Zagard EX. Manectric EX. Raikou EX. Okay, so the pre-release for Call of Legends had the foil promo and it has the cosmic galactic foil. I believe this has a galactic foil too, by the way, so it's very light. Oh, I can see this card's not in the best condition, actually. There's a lot of silvering on it. If you put it in the light and around the border, the little dots. We have Pikachu EX. That's a great one. So cool. Uh, I saw some comments. Sorry, let me check that real quick. Primalugia straight killing it out of here. That's right, Primalugia's got the inside scoop. Really good condition. First edition 
Charizard EX that was on the outside of this cube. A little bit of damage right here, but otherwise pretty good. And we have a Mega Rayquaza EX. You gotta go? Oh, sorry, Vile. Okay, well, you have a good day, dude. Thanks for coming out to the stream. And last card before you go, though, is this full art Raichu GX that came with it. And I gotta say, that's still pretty much a highlight for it. And they put it right outside on the, just on the actual casing. So, yeah. You have a good one, guy. And that was it. That was our gigantic cube. All of these 200 cards just opened up. And, yeah. So not a whole lot of pulls from this, but I'd still say some pretty decent pulls. I'm still pretty happy with them. Um, really good shape stuff overall, apart from those uh, couple of EXs. And hey, got my gas leak, got my Haunter. So I'm pretty happy with this set. Um, yep, so that was it. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to continue. If you want to ask any questions, if you want to talk a little bit, that's all cool. But if you guys got to go, let me know. Two GXs you want to see made, go. Oh, there we go, we already got questions. Two GXs that I want to see made. I want to see them make a Gengar GX, because got to represent my gross boys. Amazing. I think that they can make Gengar GX really, really cool. Um, and uh, let's see, a GX that I think should get made. Suicune GX, because it's not getting any love. It hasn't had an EX since Team Rocket Returns. Suicune really needs a GX. As simple as that. Um, make it water type, make it psychic type, I don't care. Oh, Pro Lugia, they're gonna make a Lugia GX. Come on, boy, you know that. But Suicune's just not getting any, any love, and it's just, oh, it's, it's, it's the beast. The beast. For me, at least. What did I miss, Clutch? Tell me, what did I miss? Mew? Is that, is that, is that what I'm missing? What is it? Tap. True. Moltres got shafted during X and Y. Um, let's get... A Moltres GX. Dawn Fan GX. Sure. Let's do that as well while we're at it. Get a Dawn Fan GX. Mamoswine GX as well. Shout out to the, the Wazi. Um, <laughs> Dawn Fan. <laughs> I, I definitely think Lugia is going to happen. Moltres is a good point. Uh, I hope they do something with the, the birds. They've already got Ho-Oh, but where were the others in Shining Legends? I, I don't know. I didn't see them anywhere. So... You're right, I would love to see a Moltres DX. Um, then again, I'm more of an Articuno boy myself. I like the ice Pokemon a lot. Yeah, I agree, Lugia's guarantee. Maybe not now, maybe not next year, but it's going to happen. Maybe they want to separate themselves from the best of XY a little bit. Maybe they want to separate from all the things that were in the previous uh, rotation. And this is me trying to make up some sort of logic for it as well. I have no idea. But uh, I just think Gengar, Maybe they could do a lot with Articuno. Oh man, I agree, dude. Ho, ho always has a counterpart of Lugia, just a matter of time. Exact, exactly, Lugia. Um, they they usually go together. I'm just upset that they just don't put them in the same sets. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't understand them not doing that. I don't understand the fact that in Crimson Invasion or in Japanese set we have SN4 that we have four out of the seven Ultra Beasts, but we don't have all seven, but there's space for all three. What is this? Uh, when you do think you will be able to get the Mimikyu pin collection box for the pack battle, not trying to rush you at all, just wanted to ask. Oh, Chill Trump, no problem. Um, I think, see, I just got one recently for a pack battle for the same box that somebody asked. Uh, I think it was Noah's Pokemon had asked me about a week or two before you had asked me. So I'm gonna do that one. And then I may have to wait a little bit, but I'm expecting in around the end of this month and around beginning of October, then I'll be able to just go out, get a Mimikyu box, and then we'll do our thing. So I'll keep you posted. Thank you for asking me about that, but we will have that battle. Don't worry about that. Um, but it is good to remind me of those sorts of things. I definitely forget them, um, but I'm cool for it. You know, I agreed to it. We're going to do it, and I'm going to make sure that I get that box soon. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, also don't don't fret if you do see that I do one first. It's just because I have been asked before to do a Mimikyu pin box battle. And I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do yours. And I'm going to do something else as well. I have a few people who want to do battles, and I'm lining those up. It's best that I can. Unfortunately, I'm not uh, personally employed. Cool. I'm excited for it too, dude. I always love opening up those Mimikyu boxes, and I love doing battles. Um, 
But yeah, uh, you know, I don't have the revenue of having a good, you know, job, <laughs> basically. So uh, when I can, I do. It's basically how it runs. Uh, does anybody say something in between? It makes too much sense, bro. We've been over this. Um, Netherlands very expensive here. Yes, exactly. The, uh, as Lugie's pointing out, the Netherlands is super expensive. If you go to a normal shop and try to get the Mimikyu pin box, I think it's something like 25 bucks still. And then certain shops you can get it for 15, which is great. All about Lugia and Ho-Oh. Yeah, it does make perfect sense, man. But it just make it just doesn't, I just yeah, put them in the same set. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done it and just, I want them in the same set, you know? They do Mew and Mewtwo in the same set all the time. I mean, granted they didn't with an X and Y, they did put them in different sets, but I don't know. I don't know why they s separate these legendaries all the time. I feel like it's like getting an evolutionary form, but putting it in a different set. And granted, I know that on a playability scale, that's a bit more of an issue because then you can't play that card until you buy the next set. But it just feels wrong, man. Imagine if they were to do a very smart thing with things like the legendary dogs or the legendary birds. Um, or even like Zekrom and Reshiram, and if they were to work off of each other. Like we had Black Chiram and White Chiram in uh, previous sets. Well, why not make it to where you always need uh, Zekrom or Reshiram and a Chiram to make those? You know what I mean? Like with Zekrom and Chiram to make your, your Black Chiram. Or white, I think it would be White Chiram. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, dude, me too. Me too. Uh, I would definitely flock to where they're sold. I, I just uh, I want those sets. <laughs> well, gold, silver, almost 20 years old, so I hope we will see something. Yeah, true. Uh, I mean, that's why they're bringing it out in the uh, digital game, right? It's because it's the anniversary for that one. We've got the second generation going on in Pokemon Go, so I do hope that we're going to get some sort of special set celebrating that. I know that after SM4, our SM4 Plus is going to be another special set. So it seems that might be just the way they're doing it in Japan from now on, which I hope so, because SM1 Plus was trash, SM2 Plus was trash, don't do those again. SM3 Plus was amazing, it was Shining Legends. SM4 Plus looks like it's going to be a good expansion set um, that has at least a hollow per pack, and uh, probably even better. So we'll see how that goes, and maybe they put some really cool Gen 2 stuff in there. I would love a new Togetic or uh, Togekiss. I, well, I guess Togetic would be the Gen 2, though. You know? You have three Megas you think you should have. they should have made that they didn't. Mm. Ooh, that's a good question. Mega Lugia? Well, or as the name goes, Primal Lugia. They should have done a Primal Lugia. That's all I have to say. Uh, <laughs> you know, one up, just 100% a Primal Lugia would have been beast. <laughs> I would have loved that so much. Um, Megas I didn't do. Mm. This is this is where my knowledge of Pokemon's kind of be kind of out the door there. I don't know which ones do and which ones don't have a Mega, to be honest. Most of the ones I can think of that needed to have a Mega kind of have one, you know? Um, I was going to say Sableye, but it has a Mega. Um, Spiritomb could have had a cool Mega. I think he could have done something really cool with that. Um, I think, well, we have a Mega Mewtwo, but we don't have a Mega Mew, which is weird. Oh my god, a Mega Muck with legs, messy, yes, that would be so cool. <laughs> It'd be like a, a walking, like, swamp thing looking thing. That would be cool, Mega Muck, I like it, I like that a lot. Um, Mega, Mega Arbok, I would have liked. I know I'm being a Gen 1er right now, but Mega Arbok, I think, would have been tremendous. Mega Machamp? What is it, then have, like, just, like, eight arms? <laughs> Be full on, or, like, I guess six arms, and then make it go full spider. Um, oh, which one clutch, the Mega Machamp or the Mega Arbok? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Third eye. That'd be creepy. I think those are the Megas that I would want to do. 
Uh, you know. Mega Melodic would be amazing, yes. Oh, what a, that would be a beautiful Pokemon. I can see that. Especially if you got Mega Gyarados, you might as well do Mega Melodic as well. You have the two next to each other. Oh, that's a, that's a good choice. I, yeah, we need to write them. Make a Mega Mel uh, Melodic right now. That would be amazing. Make a flag on. I can see that. Yep, yeah, I can see that working as well. Here's one. Um, and you meant Arbok. Yeah, dude, Mega Arbok. I mean, imagine just how gnarly of a Cobra we're talking about here. Just, whoa, <laughs> this thing would be huge. But what about a Mega, oh, what was I just thinking about? Um, it'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. We're talking about the Mega Melodic. And it inspired me for one. There, honest, there are so many. Mega Meowth. <laughs> well, I mean, you have Persian. Would they? I mean, if we're going to go that route, then I want to make a Haunter. You know, the, imagine this guy, but then more beastly. Come on. Make a Haunter. But Mega Meowth. They just talk more. Oh, yeah, you're right about that. Like a Mega Typhlosion would be pretty awesome. I would love to see what they do with a Mega for Alligator. But I think they'd also find that too difficult for people to say. Mega for Alligator. <laughs> That's a lot of things. It's a bit of a mouthful right there. Mega for Alligator. It's a good question, though. The Megas. I hardly give them any thought, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm a Ghost fan, as you, as you notice. I, I would give a lot of Ghosts Megas. Because they didn't. They gave Mega Gengar. And... I think that's it. It's the only one I can think of. I mean, I'm glad they're not going to do something like Mega Mimikyu. That one needs to stay the way it is. Isn't Mega Gengar basically Haunter? Oh, I'd want to see some magma influence on Typhlosion. You have a point there that with Mega Gengar, they kind of put the best... Sorry, my cat's back to weird. Uh, they kind of put the best features with Haunter and Gengar together. And of course, when you get the, uh, the shiny version... Mega Arcanine. Legit. That's a good choice. Mega Ninetales would also have been pretty cool. But now we're getting Alolan forms as well. So maybe they're also waiting. They were waiting already with the Alolan stuff. So anything that they weren't doing a Mega with, they were going to make an Alolan form for. I'm curious what Alolan forms we're going to get with uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Probably some pretty cool stuff. Probably some pretty lame stuff too, I can imagine. Uh, I think so far all of them have been from Kanto. Maybe now we're going to get some stuff from Gen 2 that get in a low one form. I could see that working out. Um, like you never know if we get like a... Uh, well, in that sense, you could probably get an Alolan for alligator. That's some weird uh, dark type or something like that. Um, who knows? Huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if there are any more Megas. So many things that you could actually do with Mega. Let me just go through these real quick. I mean, wouldn't you love to see stuff like Mega Pikachu or Mega Raikou, you know? I'm just looking through the uh, <laughs> Ultra Rares here. But I do find the weirdest one they did was Mega Mewtwo. As much as I really enjoy Mega Mewtwo Y, I just don't understand that they have one for him. And they also have one from Rayquaza. But they don't for Groudon. They don't for... They have the Primals, but they don't have those Megas. You know what I mean? Ooh, I agree with you there, Bravo. Mega Hitmonlee and Mega Hitmonchan. Those would be pretty cool. Those would be pretty cool. Ah, uh, Mega Solrock and Mega Lunatone. Um, I see what you, I see your point, Lugia, that that was a bit of a miss. I don't know if I would have given them Megas, but at the very least, I would have given them more to do. I feel that um, it's great and all that they have that second kind of sub story going on that if you give a Lunatone to a dude, things will go weird. But then you had to get Lunatone once Pokebank was available. So they didn't even have Lunatone in the game. And like, why didn't you even just have them there? You know, at the very least, just have Soul Rock and Lunatone in your game. It's Sun and it's Moon. Make them exclusive. But I didn't understand that I had to get them from an older game and then put them onto there. Oh, you, you, Clutch, are you saying you want a Mega Dunsparce? Is that what you want? <laughs> you, you want, you want a large version of this? 
Are you saying you want this to be this? Is that what you're telling me? Mega Dunsparce. Oh man, it would just sit around and eat wood. It's basically all it would do. But then it would eat like a whole house instead of just one little piece of wood. <laughs> Mega Shuckle. You guys are just getting silly now. I agree. They should evolve Dunsparce. How is this not a uh, pre-evolution Pokemon? I, I thought it was. I really thought it was. So I'm a little surprised there that it's not pre-evolution. Um, who knows? Maybe Maybe they're thinking about doing that. Maybe in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, maybe Dunsparce will finally get that evolution. It's been in Alola this entire time. Or maybe not. <laughs> you know? Maybe they just completely forgot. Oh, another cool one, by the way. Mega Venomoth. Would have been really fun. If they did make a Beedrill, they might as well do Venomoth and Butterfree. That's how I feel. I think uh, Venomoth would have been pretty cool. No! Messy. No! No Mega Mr. Mime. No. No. How dare you? How dare you, sir? We're buddies, man. No, not a Lolan Mr. Mime. That would be terrifying. <laughs> what, what? Okay, I have a question for you guys then. If they make an Alolan Mr. Mime, what typing should it be? And how would it be different from the other Mr. Mimes? And then I'll read out what your responses are. So I'm very curious what you guys would think of, of an Alolan Mr. Mime. Mega Volcarona, that could be pretty cool too. Yep. Make it, okay, Cat's just lying down. I think the Huntress is going to be home soon. Okay, so Bravo Wolf Clan says that the Alolan Mr. Mime would be a fighting type. So, would he then be more like Hitmonchan with the boxing gloves and dress a bit more like wrestling attire, like spandex and stuff? Or are we talking more like ground type here? Messy, dark, and make it like Pennywise the Clown. <laughs> Somebody saw it. <laughs> um, I would totally be behind Mr. Mime if they went a Pennywise route. Yes, um, yeah, that would be epic. <laughs> Fighting fairy poker clutch. Okay, so isn't he already a fairy type? So are we just changing the psychic for fairy? I have for fighting at this point. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he's considered fairy. Yeah, he's fairy, right? Um, let me. Go. I know I had a Mr. Mime. Yeah, he's fairy type. Okay, that's what I thought. So you just want him to have the extra fighting to him. Well, I mean, yeah, sure. Alolan Mime should be dark skinned, though. Like Alolan Marowax is probably yeah. I agree. That'd be really cool. Let's take it. So they just kind of reverse it, make him look uh, a bit tribal in a sense. Almost like he's got mud in his face. Ooh, I hear a Huntress. I hear a Huntress. So she came all the way here to get her, uh, <laughs> to get her slow bro. And the Munchlax. And the Munchlax. Oh, the Munchlax is somewhere in here. I have to find it. That's okay. That's the one I forgot to put aside. I got you the Pampy, though. I didn't care about that one. Okay, so yeah, this is, <laughs> this is Mr. Mime. Um, yeah, I can see it. If you were to reverse the colors of, like, the hair and the face, you'd have the creepiest looking little... Pennywise looking thing. Um, see, we're talking about what type an Alolan Mr. Mime would be. And, <laughs> and then Messi had the just the most nightmarish idea of make him a dark type and then make him look like Pennywise. Yeah. Was, <laughs> it sounds like an it to me. Yeah, it is purely an it. That sounds like a really good idea. So I'm also just looking for the, um, what was it again? Oh, the Munchlax. Munchlax. Looking for the Munchlax. <laughs> No, 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 I said I would, so I just forgot to. It was really early in the stream. Um, and then we'll round this off. Ah, oh, found it. There you go. Much less. So, okay. see if there are any comments while I was looking down. That's a viewer. So, he would have a Mimikyu type of design like an imposter. Yes, yes, bravo. That's exactly what would make him like Pennywise. He would just turn into whatever he needed to be, you know? Um, bit of a dark ride type character, and instead of like eating your dreams, it, it goes for your fears. A I could get behind that. A dark ditto. <laughs> dark dough. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, well, then, I think that's going to be it. I want to thank you guys for coming out. It's been great fun. Really enjoyed it. We have been doing this for over an hour and a half now. Um, there's this kitty. She's in the way. The big black, black blob. <laughs> 
Huntress uh, holding on to the kitty cat there. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this, and I'm really happy that you guys were here, and I'll definitely do this again in the future. I've mentioned that in the previous streams, but I'm really enjoying streaming. So if I have a really cool product like this in the future, you can expect a stream like this, or if I decide to do another stream battle with somebody, if I can like sync up with times, we'll do a battle like that. And uh, yeah, for the rest, maybe I'll just do some Q&As. I have regionals coming up this weekend, so tomorrow, pretty early my time, around noon, we're going to be leaving the city, and then we're going to go off to Bremen. I'm going to have the professor seminar, and I'm going to sleep. And then on Saturday, it's nine rounds of Pokemon. I'm going to get obliterated because I'm playing Mega Mewtwo Y, but it's a good deck. It's a fun deck, and I've noticed that Vikabulu, I'm coming for you, Vikabulu. You feed me. Oh, yes, you do. And Gardevoir, I got your number. So I know that deck works against those decks pretty well um, if you get it running properly. Um, but so, yeah, nine rounds. It's going to be crazy. Uh, and I will try to stream either on the Saturday or the Sunday. Especially if I don't get through to Sunday, then I'll probably stream then and just kind of show you around. Maybe even I'll stream on Friday if I have some time just to give you a little bit of a preview of what the venue is like before, you know, because I'm going to be there for the seminar. But until then, um, you'll know, I'll pop up either on a stream or you'll see videos in about a week or two uh, after I edit them together and stuff. Oh, we need a high five. Okay. There you oh, go. There's a high five from Poker go. Clutch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, guys. I uh, will see you guys later. Uh, and until next time, I will see you on the hunt. Goodbye. Oh. Well, this is awkward. I have to turn it off. <laughs> Bye!